Well, in the UK, we're, we're seeing headlines sort of, of travel chaos, people criticising the government for perhaps uh, not have preparing for this uh, in a way that they should have done. Um, do you think that's fair? Do you think we are very bad in the UK at preparing for snow? You know, uh, I think that the situation for exceptional snowfall is uh, around all Europe. So uh, it's just a matter if you think that the snowfall of this kind is occurring once a year or once in 10 years or maybe in a longer period. And I can provide some uh, experience from the Czech Republic because for years we were just looking aside into Austria how they are dealing with, uh, with the heavy snowfall because always we felt, well, the national road maintenance uh, has slept and uh, is surprised that there is something like a winter. But uh, in experience for many years, uh, we slowly started to get ready better and better. We developed local plans, uh, uh, regional plans. Uh, you know, we provided uh, machinery and enough funding for, for this kind of uh, actions. And also you probably have to get ready with some legislation uh, concerning, let's say, the obligatory use of uh, winter gears, etc. So these are the actions you have to take and be ready that the heavy snowfall is not uh, just an incident that occurs once in a long term. I mean, certainly in the UK, we had um, some very heavy snowfall last winter, and the government was supposed to put into action um, some, some plans after that. The criticism now is that perhaps they didn't learn from the mistakes of last time. Do you think that's very important, and, and the government needs to do that to learn from, from these events? Oh, definitely. Um, I can have a, again provide a similar comparison, uh, but it doesn't really uh, deal with winter, but with, with summer. We had uh, first the heavy floods, and it's just a summer summer um, uh, issue uh, in 1997. That was disastrous. The second floods were in 2002 and in 2006, and actually every year, and this year we face something like this. So. Uh, I, I think that with, with a heavy winter snowfall, it's just the same. Uh, maybe one year is not enough to, to really think of all, all the actions you could, you could take and all the measures, but uh, you definitely uh, have to do that. And what about the lessons that your country has learned from Austria? Do you think that our government needs to perhaps go to Austria, go to some of the countries in Europe that do know how to deal with snow because they, they get it more often and in larger quantities. Is that some advice that you would give to the British government? Yes, I think I can summarize it this way. Just look where uh, to the countries they are used to this kind of uh, uh, really calamities, uh, how they deal with it and learn it. And do you think that in Europe, that um, maybe the European Union needs to to get together this kind of a device from parts of Europe more used to dealing with snow? Do you think that could be something helpful that the European Union could do? I think um, it's it may be a good idea uh, because uh, as as uh, in the case of, of, of floods, uh, we are thinking of uh, some kind of a European approach. So maybe. In uh, this sense, uh, we could look into into the winter winter calamities as well. Yeah. In the UK, sometimes we feel that we have a very small amount of snow compared to, you know, uh, Austria, Germany, the the Scandinavian countries, and yet we have this huge chaos. And we sometimes feel that perhaps countries like Austria are almost laughing at us, saying, "Oh my goodness, what what a mess they're making with just such a small amount of snow." Do you think that's true? Do you think that that other countries like Austria perhaps look on countries like ours like that? Uh, it it may be it may be so, but it's really a matter of experience. If you are facing with a heavy uh, snowfall every year for for years and years, then uh, it seems uh, like something normal. But uh, you cannot really influence how the how the weather will be. So if a country which is not used to that uh, is facing suddenly uh, some some uh, this exceptional situation. Then, uh, then, then yes, uh, for the country it's uh, really difficult and uh, I, I feel sympathy uh, for actually 
all the people which faced great problems, but also for many deaths uh, that were actually caused by, by this freezing and, and, and heavy snowfall throughout Europe, not only in, not only in Britain. And that's, again, maybe one point I would like to raise. We have to look into the impacts. What the, does it have on people, on, on home, to, to make maybe a strategy for how to develop homeless people uh, during this, this kind of uh, difficult times. Uh, so uh, there are many issues. And I would maybe apologize the government for not really preparing all the measures and all the actions in one year, but you have to definitely think of it and, and to look around. And in the case of, of your country, how much better have things got by learning from Austria uh, next door? Have things really improved? And, and is that an encouragement for the UK to, to do the same? Yes, I think so. Uh, because first of all, uh, we thought um, maybe to really develop some kind of a timetable, time scale, uh, um, to really adjust and adapt to a weather forecast uh, and to get to get ready. We have long, long um, planned uh, winter uh, winter uh, plans for maintenance on a local level. Uh, starting from a local level into the regional level, uh, how to maintain uh, ma maintain the, the highways, uh, et, et, etc. Uh, even for the airports, of course. But st still, we cannot ex uh, exclude any any difficulties that the, the difficulties would pass uh, uh, beside us and, and not touch us. That's impossible. But I think that the lessons uh, were very important and I think very useful.